Okay, here we go. Welcome back to Nick Lane's Comic Corner Classic Last Known Classics. This is episode number 28-9-17, double shot number 28-11. First, we're discussing the final trade, the collect issues from, this is, of course, the original printing of the trades for the question, along with a trade for Power Girl. This question trade is called Peacemaker. It collects issues 31 36. It's the final six issues of the first volume for the question. Next, to discuss the question after when I finish this one. It's basically going to be the question quarterly, the question returns, and a showcase book. Yep. In these six issues, basically, the big theme of these issues is that the question becomes romantic involved with the mayor of Hub City, who is a woman, and around his age. Yeah. And kind of in a way, the book ends a bit of a happy note. And you can think of these issues as mostly put wrapping up uh, loose ends. Mm -hmm. Yeah, basically you have Maya being capped by drug dealers, but she is free by the question who ends up they ever having sex by the end of the issue. And, and throughout basically the remaining issues, it's basically just the question just... They were just some drug dealers, and we also have a character named Harold on it, who makes his debut in this book, in the issue 33. Uh, those of you not familiar with this character, this was the character that was created to be a uh, supporting character in the Bat books. And he first shows up in this book, and then he becomes a supporting character in the pages of Batman. Yeah, Danny created him specifically to open this book just to basically pop in that book. And <clears throat> there's also a guy named Anton Esler Ritter, who is basically, well, the question's mentor. He continues to appear in this book. Even after this book wraps up, the guy still appears. But it's still good issues. So, aside from like, 33 is he basically, think about 31 is first time him and Maya basically sleep together. Now, the cover for 34 is a bit iconic because it's the question wearing the blue suit coat, blue hat, and blue suit. Yes, this is something basically where they tend to basically draw upon. And also, we have Return to Dragon, the book. The man who trained the question in martial arts early on in the series. Lady Shiva is still kind of in the book, per se. But by the last issue of the book, the question just walks off. Yeah. Yeah, and basically the question leaves... Leaving his daughter, to taking uh, his girlfriend's daughter with him, who is the mayor. Yeah, it's kind of basically with the last issue, it's like, yeah, City Hall is basically done. As for why she's staying in Hub City, don't know. Yeah, and those of you curious... She actually does return after this. Don't worry, she does. Mm -hmm. But, very interesting issues. I don't think anything wrong here, per se, with this book. And I'm going to give this trade a 9 out of 10. Final thoughts on The Question, Volume 1. And actually a really good book. I actually own two of the trades this one. And this definitely is a book that I really want to continue reviewing. So... In case you're curious, though, this is the one one of the books that replaced one of the Superman books. This one had replaced Man of Steel. That's basically what this book did. Um, yeah, it replaced Superman and Man of Steel. And with that, basically, Volume 1 is done. So, next thing I think of the question will be... The Question Quarterly, a book series published alongside of this book. The Question Returns. And Showcase... Uh, and the an issue for Showcase 95. Alright, so, next up, we're discussing a couple books, per se. For the, well, basically, a Power Girl trade. It's just something called Power Girl, which collects 
J is a class of 5, 1 through 4, which I've discussed already in the Power Girl Power Trip Trade, so I'm skipping over that one. But I'm here to discuss the rest of the publishing of the book, which is Showcase 97 to 99 and Secret Origins number 14. No, number 11. Now, basically, this is a three issues, uh, three part story here. Now, the book itself is written by Paul Levitz. Yep, he writes this book. Now, here's a little fun fact about this book. Now, in the previous issue, just before Power Girls started a feature, that was Doom Patrol. Yep. And I think that, um... I think by issue, I think it was like 96, I think it was. There was some point when they actually ended the, the, the actual series. Let's see. Yeah, there was at one point when they ended the book. Because... It was actually issue 93. Yeah, 93 is where they actually ended the book originally. And basically... From issues 904 to basically like... The final issue, which is basically 104... These, these 11 issues were, in fact, a brief revival for the book for book, book Ultimate Cancelled. Mo mostly put, it's basically about... It's just Avengers for, for Supergirl. With her experience, Anton Vestin, who's someone who's been in a relationship with Power Girl. And in case you're curious, though, does he appear at this book? He does. It, this is kind of interesting for him. His next appearance after this book, at the at the three issues wrap up, he pops up in Incorporated, an issue of Wonder Woman, America vs. Justice Society, and then for some strange reason they had this guy pop up in a lot of the Convergent books. Yeah, but these these books are a lot of fun. He in the second issue, she fights. The original Brainwave. Yep. Yeah. Fights the original Brainwave. Alan Scottson's issues. Basically, in a way, this is like a side story to, like, basically All-Star Comics, which is published in period. I think it was, yeah, was All-Star Comics. Yep. And by issue number uh, 99, this one is actually very historic issue. This one. Almost forgot to mention the artwork in this book by Joe Stanton. This is the issue here where, where basically, uh, Power Girl adapts her first uh, secret identity, like similar to Clark Kent. Here she's known as Kara Star, a secret identity that her basically an alien, her public alias that she was soon she would keep it for a long time. She had it up until very recently, where for some reason the writer changed the page. I don't know the reason for it, but that's what they did. But really fun stories. It's a nice action-packed, really quick story. Though next issue would be the hundredth issue of the series, like right after this wrapped up. Though of course, yes, they have issue one hundred, which is basically like. Oh, let's have the heroes all gathered together. And I've already discussed issues 101 and 104. Because these issues are the Hawkman issues. Hawkman and, and uh, Adam Strange. But the final issue of the book, which I may discuss in the future. Is a spy book. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I might discuss the future. Because that's going to be interesting to discuss here. Yep. But we're not done just yet, per se. Next up we have is Secret Origins number 11. And this one's not written by Paul Levitz. You see, the, the showcase issue came out in 1978. This issue came out in the 80s. Came out in 1987. This is basically written by Paul Cupberg with Mary Wilshire on the artwork. 
basically in a way this is basically her first backstory this is a a retcon backstory where instead of being kryptonian they had it where she's actually atlantean and she has connections to a character from warlord and it's kind of in the way she kind of remembers basically her what happened pre-crisis and here is a little bit afterwards Yeah, and by the way, also shook his name to his debut of her of Kira's spaceship, the symbiotic spaceship. That's basically another thing. They, that's one another thing. Debut ninety seven was basically this very ship, which is interesting. And in case you're curious, though, is it still used? Occasionally, yes. Mm -hmm. Ian popped up in the uh, most recent Power Girl book. And those of you curious, though, what is her costume this period of time? Well, in the case showcase, that was her costume. I mean, it looks a little bit similar to her iconic costume, but as for her Secret Origins one, it's a bit altered, but it's still pretty much the same. It's not the classic one. We the it's not the it's not the outfit people know her for, especially with the boob window. Uh, that comes later, and. But the one thing consistent about her is her showing off her sexy legs, which of course they kept that for a while, and then they gave her a new outfit, in New Fifty Two, for some strange reason. But yeah, the Power Girl stuff was really good. Next to discuss Power Girl will be her first mini series, also with Puck Up as well. Oh, and I give these Power Girl books a ten out of ten. These books are really good. Excuse me. Oh, and here's a fun fact for issue eleven. Um. I have actually discussed the backup story for this one. Yes. Yeah, you see, the Power Girl story is the A story in this issue, and Hawkman is the backup story. And I had discussed basically the the backup the backup story in a book known as The Last Days of Just Side America, which collected a lot of books related to Secret Origins. Basically like the B stories for Secret Origins issue seven, nine, eleven, thirteen, fifteen, sixteen. 18, 20, 24, 25, and 31. Yeah. I, and get this. They're written by Roy Thomas. Every single one. Yeah. Which, uh, that, I have reviewed this already. Look, look, look it up. I have reviewed it. Yep. So, yeah. That's particularly a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notification, and do this like button. Uh, those of you curious, uh, when to plan to view more Seek Origins, I'm planning on viewing more of this in the future. Maybe one of, with one of the books I finish, I might review this because the second volume is only 50 issues. And in case you're curious, with issue 11, I have now reviewed of the 50 issues, second volume, I have now reviewed one, two, three, four, five, only six issues. Six, definitely. Uh, the first volume was a reprint book, and third volume I have viewed already. Mm hmm. Yep. Maybe I have to finish the incorporate volume too, I might do it. That's possible. Or maybe Power Girl, who knows. Okay. So, yeah, the, that's particularly a particular view. Please be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn notification, and doing the like button. Next up, more Ultra 7. And, not a, like right now, I have 15 minutes to go. So, you think, oh, five hours? I might get close tonight. I'll probably finish it tomorrow, okay? Next show. Bye.